Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. This is the beginner's weekly series. That we're just barely starting into week six. It's a little early. This is a Monday, the 14th of uh, May. The uh, reason I'm making it today is it's supposed to rain about the rest of the week, so I better get this done. Uh, we're going to go into a little more depth uh, on beekeeping today. We've been just kind of checking the hives and kind of getting our feet wet and kind of learning going through the hives. It's, I have a little problem sometimes on the beginner series, you know, like uh, things I take for granted you guys don't know and I, 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 I just failed to come across with it. So if you got any questions, be, feel free to ask on, on the channel. Uh, I apologize for that. It's just something, the way my mind works. But we're going to get in here today. We're going to look at the brood. See how, how, how they're building. We're going to check for some uh, uh, brood diseases today. Kind of, kind of check the hive over. I'll give, tell you some things about brood diseases. And we're going to treat for varroa mites today. And varroa mite treatment is a necessity. You've got to treat your bees. If you're not, you're going to be buying bees every year. You just can't keep bees this day and age without treating for varroa mites. I treat religiously. Uh, I use oxalic acid vaporized. Um, very efficient on phoretic mites. That's mites that's on the bees. It, uh, it's a hundred percent kill on all them that's out in the hive on the bees. The bad thing about it, only a third of them of the mites are on the bees. The other th two thirds is in in the caps. <clears throat> so we'll treat three weeks in a row. That'll be a brood cycle. Hopefully, we keep most of them knocked down. It's worked fairly good for me over the years. And then I treat monthly the rest of the summer. And then to going into winter after the brood is gone, late season, they're flying. I will treat three more weeks in a row to make sure they're healthy going into winter. So let's get started. That's, that's what we're, that's what's on the agenda today. We're just going to open them up first and we're kind of going to go look through them and see what we got going on. If we put these extra frames on the outside, we didn't expect them to be drawing much. They've drawn a little on it, not much. Always get that first frame out, check for your queen, because there's nothing on this frame. It, it's, it's, it's not, nothing. But when you lay a frame down, never put it on the ground. Put it on your high stand and lean it against the box you're working. In case you miss the queen, that queen will walk up and crawl back in the box. You should either stay on the frame or walk back in the box. You put it on this frame over here, she'll all walk in this box and get killed. Let's see what we got going on here. As you can see, starter strip, that's way on the outside. They've already started drawing it. People say, well, they draw all drone comb. That's perfect worker cell. They're, bees draw whatever comb they need. And you'll find when you put a package of bees in, almost 100% of the time, bees start at the entrance and work their way back. We're going to show you. It's warm enough now. We're going to show you a few tricks to get them to draw this out quicker. This is just a honey frame here. Nothing. When you're going through the through the hive, you want to look for K wing, and that's where a bee's walking around with her wings all spread out like an airplane. A lot of the old timers think that's a sign of tracheal mites, but tracheal mites is about a thing of the past. If you got bees with K wing and their butts, their abdomens are slick and shiny, they got parasitic paralysis. And it can be treated with. Um, Teramycin. 
But typically, if, if you got bees that's got K-wing and they don't have a slick, uh, slick, slick shiny abdomen, they got no zema. And you can usually treat that with essential oils, about the only thing that, uh, I forget, aphis, uh, uh, no zema is about a thing of the past. That's what we used to have. But uh, the saran has took over and there's not too much treats in it. Here we go. We're going to, here's our queen. Let me get her again. There's our queen right there. Now we're just looking what she she wants. Starting to get a little more drone comb laid in this hive. Now, here's a full frame. This is cat brood. But the rest of all this area out here is all laid up with eggs. And when you got brood in there, you need to be looking down in there at your brood. All larvae will be in a C or circle shape down in the bottom curled up. That's a normal state of, of larvae. If you've got a larva that's kind of corkscrewed up towards the sides and coming up or straight up and down, that's a sign of paralysis. And it can, it can be semi-treated with teramycin also. But teramycin is something you've got to have a vet feed a directive to get. Now you guys remember, we started this all with starter strip. All starter strip. No, not, no wax foundation. Look at that. Beautiful comb. You draw it just as straight. Another perfect frame. Nothing but worker cells off a of starter strip. Next week, possible week, we could go to our next box. I'll put another box on top of this. You're checking for queen cells. There's no queen cells. We'll show you some at one point what they look like. Keep them swarming. Okay, that's a good frame to the outside. This one's a partially drawed. This is another good frame here. We're going to take our one that they're just barely working on. We're going to move this out here in the middle. Let them get it drawed out. It's another full frame drawed. And what I was going to show you. I, they always start at the beginning. This box is not quite ready, but when that, when they start at the beginning, take this frame, turn it around, and put it back here. I right, actually I'm gonna do that. That's a that's a honey frame. It won't hurt nothing. And they'll come back up here and they'll draw it out. They they don't get lazy that way. But that that's. Part of the inspection, everything looked good. I didn't see any brood diseases, didn't see any K-wing, no messed up larva, chop brood. Chop brood is uh, when they, the mummies die before they cap them and they get in there and they got little bitty dried up chalky looking mummies and then they kind of turn brown sometimes. They're hard. You'll see them, if you notice them carrying them out on the landing board or dropping them on the ground and you got chop brood. Uh, Chop brood's usually caused by, I think it's a bacteria, but it's uh, caused by cool, rainy 
temperatures. They typically the bees take care of it most of the time on their own, just fine. If you got a, a bunch of it in a hive and they're not cleaning the mummies out, getting that bacteria out of there, take a banana peel and just throw it on top of them frames. Take you know, take the top off and throw it right down on top of the frames. Put it in there, they'll clean the whole box spotless. Uh, I'm gonna on the you guys will have to decide how you want to treat the mites. Like I say, uh, my application is oxalic acid. Um, you can buy a, a wand for some of them's under $50. I've got some videos out where you stick a wand in the hive entrance and do it that way. If you got under 20 hives, that's fine. But I use a probate 110. And it's no better than uh, uh, the pan, other than it's faster. You know, I got to do 200 highs, and it's faster. We're not going to go in depth on that. You, you, you guys will have to decide how you want to treat. Mita waste strips, which is formic acid, does a real good job, but you can only use that when the temperature is. Uh, I think it's 75 and below because you got to leave them in there for six weeks and your honey's got to be off. This oxalic acid really doesn't bother the honey, but the label says you got to take it off. So take your honey supers and set them off there, put the lid back on it, treat them, put your honey supers back on because the law doesn't say how long it's got to be off. Just, just take them off, treat them. This Pro Vape is just a heating unit. I got a towel, put a towel over the front. And I've got a hole drilled in the. Uh... Should wear a respirator, but the wind's blowing real good today. And I'm away from it. So it really is stuffing hard on you, you don't want to breathe it. <laughs> Let's see the smoke coming out the front. <clears throat> coming out the lid. Let's see if we can get a shot of that blowing out the lid. Take your towel off. The bees go right about their business like nothing happened. <clears throat> if you like the videos, hit the uh, subscribe button, click the bell beside it so you get notified, and have a good week.